Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. I was invited to do a collab by The Long Run with Joel and Christy. And also, Back Row Money is going to be part of this collab. And it is Croctober. In some places, not Texas, it's getting cooler. Uh, just the other day, it was 101 and towards the end of September. But in many places, it is getting cooler. And a lot of folks like making crock pot meals. I am going to make a crock pot pumpkin spice oats. Now I'm not going to put recipe down in the description and the reason why is you can kind of make this recipe your own and I'll explain. Okay first of all I would not use quick oats but I'm using old-fashioned oats. You can use this or steel cut oats so I'm using that. I'm using nutmeg, cloves, and cinnamon okay and it, just use them to your taste. Some people like more of a clove taste, some people don't. I'm using iodine table salt. I'm using maple syrup. Some people may choose to use brown sugar. Some people might use honey. I'm using pure maple syrup as a sweetener. And then some people may use stevia or something like that. I'm using pure vanilla and one can of pumpkin. Now, for the liquid, you can mix it up. You can use almond milk, you could use coconut milk, you could use regular milk, you could use water. I'm combining some milk and water. The One of the recipes I saw just used milk, which can give it a creamier texture, but in a way it kind of, it, I notice it burns a little more when you just use milk. So I like using water and milk together. So these are the ingredients that I will be using today. Like I said, you can mix and match it. I kind of like more of a stiffer oatmeal, less soupy. Some people like more of a, I don't know if you would call it soupy, soupy oatmeal. So I'm going to be showing you how to make it. Please, after you watch this video, go check out to see what Sarah over at Back Row Money is going to be making. And please go look over at Joel and Christy and see what they're making for Croctober because I think we're all doing something a little bit different. What I love about my recipe is you could do it if you are eating a sugar-free lifestyle because you can use, like I said, stevia. If you are gluten-free, you could use gluten-free oats. If you are vegan, you just may, would not use honey and you would use plant-based milk or water. So I kind of like it because you can make this recipe your own. If you want less pumpkin, you could use half a can and just kind of play with the mixture. I always check on my recipe about an hour later. Just to let you guys know, I generally put this on low for about four hours. This crock pot does cooks much faster than my other crock pot. So I have to check it quite often because a lot of times when I see recipes, they'll say, oh, you know, it's six hours on low. And a lot of times my recipes are done after four hours on low. So always check your crock pot. You know if it cooks fast or slow. So stay tuned with me and let's see if this is a recipe you might like. Also one note, afterwards if you want, you can put walnuts or pecans on top if you like nuts. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I make my pumpkin spice oats. Okay, in this crock pot right now is three cups of milk, one cup of water. You could do four cups of milk, you could do four cups of water. It is a little creamier with milk, but you can use any type of milk, plant-based milk. You could use dairy, whatever you want. I also mixed in here two teaspoons of vanilla. The next thing that I do is I put in all of my spices, which is cloves. I love the smell of cloves. Let me know if you guys like it. Nutmeg, cinnamon, and then I put a little smidge of salt. So like a fourth of a teaspoon. Okay, so the next thing I do is I mixed all of those in a bowl, and so I will pour them in the bowl next, and then I stir all of this up with a spoon until it is combined. So I do all of that first. So everything is in here first. Then after I mix that up to the best of my ability, then the next thing I do is I put a half a cup of maple syrup in there. So I just pour that on in there. And I mix that up. 
And I just kind of stir this for a little bit to incorporate. One thing I forgot to mention is that I also made sure to grease this. I used to use these plastic slow cooker liners, not saying there's anything wrong with those, but I was wasting a lot of money on those because I use my slow cooker slash crock pot a lot. And you know what? I just grease it now. Sometimes I have to, you know, wash it out good, but that saves me some money not buying those. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you the next step. Next thing I do is I put an entire can of pumpkin in here. And I'm just stir all of this around next. And then after that, I will put my oats in and then turn this on low. Sometimes I use it on high. It does cook quite fast on high. And a lot of people will leave these overnight and do it just slow. Though one person I saw left hers on warm overnight, which is not a bad idea. But I don't know. When I use my slow cooker, I still, because my was raised this way, I like to be home and around when I use this. So anyway, this smells so good. I love all the smells of the spices. So I'm going to show you how much oatmeal I will put in. Okay, some people will use two cups of oats for four cups of liquid. Personally, I use three cups of oats for two or three cups of liquid. I mean, I just like extra oats because I like it thick. So personally, if you like it a little bit thicker, I would highly recommend using three cups of oats and four cups of liquid. That's me. I messed it up. But you can kind of play around with it and try different things. I mean, you really, unless you put it on high and you don't go near it and it burns, you really cannot mess up this recipe. I've made steel cut oats and old fashioned oats in the slow cooker and all different kinds multiple times. Now, granted, I've never put it in with a whole can of pumpkin. So it smells heavenly. So just remember, use whatever spices you want. If you don't have some of these spices, use some pumpkin spice, pie spice. If you want to use, you know, a little bit of allspice, use whatever you have at home. The purposes of using what you do have. I even know someone that did use the quick oats. It just cooked a little bit faster. So this is, I think, what I call a very, a, a, what, a forgiving recipe. That's what I want to say. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on. Now, I'm going to be leaving the house in a little bit. So I'm going to turn mine on high. And then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like okay there i want to show you the pumpkin spice oats and tell you what i think of it okay i put a little bit on a plate and i tasted it i do like it but next time i were to make it i would use a little less cinnamon i would use a half a can of pumpkin not a whole can and i actually might use a little more oat so that's kind of how I would change it up, but because it's not super sweet, it's really, really pumpkin-y, and I'm, I'm not loving the texture, but I know that I could work with this recipe and make it a little bit better. I will eat it. I'll probably put some chopped walnuts on top and eat it. So I want to thank Joel and Christy and Back Road Money for doing this collab with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope to see all of you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.